Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 11 on Odita servers. So in this session, a quite simple and a very useful concept we're going to see about how to consume an Odita servers in Excel. Okay, so uh, this is same like how we consumed a, a CDS view in the analysis for Office. So same way we have to give a connectivity between the excel here excel is kind of application or your front end or some tool so the connectivity to be uh, included or made for your backend system so here i'm going to give a connectivity for my uh, s4 hana system where the auditor service is available uh, the same way you can do the same or sometimes you may have a auditor service in your separate gateway server so you have to give the connectivity to the gateway server okay mostly uh, most of the client they used gateway server for auditor service not for the service not for the gateway service they used gateway server so keep all the auditor servers uh, in the gateway server only it's an independent server so all your backend systems are uh, available and you can have a connectivity between your gateway server and your ecc okay so um, in here I'm going to have a training system so everything is one system only so I'm going to give a connectivity from Excel to my training system S4 HANA okay so uh, very few things to be required uh, the first thing is Excel has an option called Audita feed from Audita feed this add-on or an option to be enabled in your Excel so that is very important and next one is Connectivity uh, is nothing but is need to be on your SAP gateway server login credentials means wherever you have the Odata is created uh, it may be your ACC system or it may be your gateway server okay there are only two options so you, you have to use the same login credentials to connect your systems and uh, yeah where the Odata is available depends on that just give the same credentials from Excel. And then Odata link is you can give the entire link. Entire link is nothing but without entity set. Uh, so if you give your entire link, then it will ask what kind of entity you want to connect. Example, your project has uh, two different entity set. Then it will or I can say okay five entity set. So if you give the entire link in the next window in the Excel, it shows your entity sets which entity you want to select is a checkbox you can select more than one as well or you can give up exactly the entity set you want give the entire link along with the entity set okay and the connectivity must be your http source i'm saying it for the local systems um because if you go auditor service it starts with slash sap and everything right so it won't open if you give that particular link so you have to convert it into a http link or https link problem with HTTPS is the port is not opened probably in your uh, training or client system so better for your practice start with HTTP and in the real time if the client wants to access from a different uh, system so then we can go with the HTTPS and enable the port and everything open from the backend side okay so the practice we are going to use HTTP link in the Excel side okay so that's it these are to be uh, in place to do that uh, I'll show you in my system. So here this is my S4 HANA and I have uh, one project here. So this is I'm going to use this one okay ZJI sales and I will show you what is there in this Odata service and uh, it's things are already registered. Yes I want to open SAP gateway client. I will show you what is the output. So this is my link so it's working fine 200 so if you give my entity set as item or header whatever it is item so i i have 10 records i have a restriction in my code so it just take 10 records now i'm going to use this o data service from my excel i'm going to access this data from the excel point of view okay let me open the excel So here um, you have an option called data, go to the menu called data and from here you have an option from other sources, okay, from other sources just click and here it's from Odata data feed. 
depends on your excel version uh, there may be a change uh, sometimes you'll get more options so in our current client system we have a different uh, means a different excel means advanced excel so we the option is available in a different place that's it but it's coming under data menu only okay so you have to try to find where is the option called from o data data feed and this needs to be enabled in your excel okay just click it it will ask what is the link so let me go to the SAP uh, gateway. I don't want this link. Suppose if you give this link, system is not able to recognize what is this link. And if you have to give the link and use this name and password. So I have to give the credentials of where the Odata service is being created and click next. It just give an error because we could not open your data model. So error is invalid URI so it needs to be the http one only so how to do that again go to your gateway link uh, by default is http so it won't enable now just go to https don't give this also because if you see https port is 8004 and http now again go back to http http port is 8001 so different ports okay so local system probably 8000 was always open so i'll go with http copy the entire thing i'm going with okay let me go with only the link not the entity set slash is very important otherwise that gives an error invalid uri so in initial stages you will get the invalid uri uh, error frequently so please be patient and give the exact uri go to the again the excel and let me delete it paste it slash is there and start with http and base, uh, here this is the username and password for the this is a user uh, sap username password only that system password so sap system password just click next so if you get a window yes so it's connected the, so the connection is enabled without any issue my credentials are working fine and it, it shows what type of or which entity set you want to select whether you want a header or you want a item set okay uh, depends on your you can select both because it's a, it's a checkbox only so let me go one by one so header text next this will ask what is the file name you want you want to save this file with the password some basic information from the excel side so how you want to keep this file so i'm going to i'm good if all the information just click finish you will get one more window what type of uh, format you want to keep this data normal table or a pivot table pivot chart or only create connections so depends on you and which worksheet you want i'll go with table first then we'll go with pivot and pivot table report just click ok it's trying to connect yes so this data is picked from my backend system using my odata service Okay, I'll show you the OData service now, means the gateway builder. Here it is. So this is my data model and this is my entity, so SO header and labels, whatever label is available, oh, sorry. Oh, yes. properties. So it takes this as a name in your Excel as a, uh, sorry, Excel column name. So the is a technical name yeah name of the property name property names are just uh, used as the column name in your excel and if there is any change happens because excel to be refreshed right it needs to be refreshed suppose uh, let me have a change in my odata service i used only uh, 10 records let me change my select query uh, go to here so this is i want to uh, show you uh, the refresh concept and hit the item okay i'm going to change only the item now change it okay let me go with 100 rows only 10 rows i just updated with uh, data so normally this happens in a backend right if any it is a sales report so every five minutes or they want to refresh the manager is using excel they want to refresh it only the data is getting refreshed they are not going because production they won't do the changes in the data uh, program level so this is just for other practice so imagine the table is um, added with 90 more records 
so now keep the cursor that is very important keep the means keep the cursor in wherever you have the table and go to data again and you have refresh all or refresh so if you keep the cursor somewhere else in a table you won't get the refresh option you have to say refresh all suppose you have 20 sheets with the different 20 what data service unnecessary you don't want to refresh everything right so keep the cursor whichever o data you want to refresh and click here and click refresh okay i'm sorry <laughs> because this is header data i changed the item i'm sorry let me do it in the header itself i thought it, it was item okay let me change to header as well um Excel again do the same refresh yeah so it has 100 records now okay so just down yeah okay uh, give me a minute I believe the data needs to be checked uh, any condition no VBAK because it is not showing 100 records right VBAK okay only 75 records total itself 75 records only available so that's the reason it showed only 75 data over here yeah, 76 one for header okay so this refresh you can uh, set automatically so this is excel property so if you want you can do it so go to properties and uh, not here refresh all okay here it is connection properties so here there is an option called how much you want to do the refresh so you want to refresh for every five minutes ten minutes or ten second uh, minutes one minute so refresh data when opening the file so we have a lot of options over here okay uh, in real time if they want they can just uh, set these things and every one minute or every two minutes this o data is getting refreshed okay and now i'm going to use one more uh, like this go here and go to o data feed is this still available yes okay i want to give along with the entity set uh, we used header let's go with item okay item so make sure you are in http uh, option control c go excel paste it and here also you have to give the username and password it's a little different in a, a different versions of excel so click next and by default it takes the first one because we given the entity uh, name itself just click next and i'm good with this and click finish and wherever the cursor you placed you already named oh okay so i'm trying to open in the same name oh, so it's fine otherwise we got to change it okay just click yes and now i go with the pivot chart okay so it just opened the empty pivot chart then you have to configure it okay so here I go with uh, plant. So I want to know how many uh, POs or sorry, uh, sales orders are available for the plant. So I make uh, the x axis is plant and the uh, total count is for uh, Webulon. So this plant, I have this much POs available. So this is uh, depends on your uh, business need. So they can uh, modify how much they want. The another one is if there is any structure change happened okay so normally it won't happen uh, until it it reaches production suppose if any structure change happen also this refresh will work but only problem is whenever there is a change happen in the column it consider that is a newly changed so it always keep at the end it means it changed the order of the uh, field which is get changed so from for example if i change vb type it just to go to the last one it just keep the recently changed field or the column to the last one okay so that is the problem so let me do that here um, let me change this year data created date okay 
inactivated generated so what happens if you do a refresh it automatically move this created date from second position to last position so go here i already have another sheet over here yeah this is the one and i'm going to keep a refresh refresh so er that is the second position and uh, it's it's going to be moved to the last with the updated property as created date okay so whatever field whether it's a key field or non key field is automatically changed so what you, what you have to do is after that if they want in the same order again they have to re import it okay for example if we go to git builder and i just change this also next value okay generate so again net value is going to the last column as replaces the last column so after that you have to reimport your uh, our data to just come to the same order for example keep here and click refresh so net w or is comes to the as de defined as the last column here net value so if you want to reorder this you have to reimport it go to data and so these things are happening only at uh, quality level or development level so don't worry it's not going to happen at all in production so it's only development time these things might happen so next and i want header next so i'm giving a different name because this is the place where it going to keep the data for the temporary like a uh, file name so i just code the finished one so on a table so now the expectation is it should be in the same order how we designed in the o data so sales order and sales type and order type plant uh, sorry before the net value so uh, i think after sales order the created date should come so everything to be in place but it's taking long time because of the data let's see yep so now it's coming like sales order created date and net values all are in the same order how we designed in the auditor service so this is a way to connect your o data with uh, excel very simple and you need a connectivity and you need the uh, data uh, feed data from uh, data o data feed okay so only that to be an uh, available in your excel then you can play around with this okay thank you so much for your time see you in the next video Yeah, uh, another one before closing, we started using uh, some tools other than SAP. We started working with outside of SAP once the HANA uh, comes like CDS view or data because the connectivity they want uh, these data from different tools. Uh, one of the example is Microsoft Office. So in real time, uh, licensing is also to be considered uh, before using this. Probably one, this is just a learning and training purpose. So you just play around with this. But once in the client side, obviously you have uh, people to just check whether this is feasible, this is possible to do it, or uh, is there any licensing licensing cost to be involved in the user level or uh, the system level. So those things also to be considered. Okay. So whenever you are using a tool, please keep this in your mind. But for a training and uh, just learning purpose, you just play around with that. Okay. Yeah. Just I want to pass this information as well. Thank you so much once again. Bye.